We made it here in Colorado. We're gonna do the Maroon Bells four pass loop. We've had a long day. We woke up and left Finley around 3.30 this morning. Had about a two hour drive into Detroit and then flew into Denver from Detroit. That was about a two and a half hour flight. And then from Denver to Aspen, we had a four hour drive. So we're finally here, we're on the trailhead and uh, we're gonna hike up to Crater Lake tonight, get get uh, used to the climate, the, the uh, elevation, and then um, we're gonna wake up early and start a long day of hiking tomorrow. All right, we're coming up on Crater Lake. Crater Lake. This is uh, our campsite for night one. It's raining. Probably about to get dumped on, so we're going to try and set up camp here real quick. Pretty cool place for camp, though. Not bad views wherever you look. We're all set up at camp, and we got this funky little configuration going on with the hammocks because it's a very small site and uh there really wasn't much places to hang a hammock so we got all three hammocks kind of strung together <laughs> real close but they're up it's keeping us dry so it doesn't matter all right so we're uh we got camp tore down we're day two and we're getting ready to hit the trail we got two passes to do today and uh, the sun's out, it's nice out right now. It was a cold, wet night last night, so hopefully our clothes and, and gear can kind of dry out for a little bit before we get dumped on later on today. So here we are, we're on the trail. So day two, we started somewhere down in there this morning and we're hiking our way up to our first pass. The scenery here is unreal. Very beautiful place. And that is where we are heading. Been trekking through mud the entire way up on our first pass. It's just a mud pit, mud up past our ankles. But we've come a long way. We came from way down there in the valley. And if you can see, the trail conditions are not so great. A little bit on the muddy side. Came across the huge stream crossing, about up to our knees. The current was pretty high. It was almost dangerous. You could get sucked under real easy. Water was freezing cold. We made it across. We had to help a um, young boy come across there's a group of people coming across there the boy got kind of scared so uh, Tim and myself helped him get get through the stream everybody made it safely so now here we are back on the trail heading up towards the pass and this is just kind of a cool little walk of trail right here we're kind of like in the thick of the brush heading up into this valley That back there is West Maroon Pass. That's what we're gonna summit here, hopefully within the next hour or so. Still trekking up to West Maroon Pass. We're getting pretty close. You can see over in there is where we are going. So we still got a little ways. Here we are, first summit. 12,500 feet was a brutal climb up pretty sketchy a little bit scary but this is uh amazing up here this view it's like unreal all right so we uh got over the first uh pass 12,500 feet we stopped and ate lunch in this little valley down here and we got another pass to do today, so we gotta head up that way. 
we're heading up to Frigidaire Pass and there's a big storm coming in. I don't know if you can see the clouds in the background there, but uh, we're gonna try and beat the storm to get up, up the mountain. Summit number two, this one's called Frigidaire Pass and it is freezing up here. It's pouring down rain, it's sleeting. We uh, need to keep moving. So. so we made it to camp here on day two and uh, it was a rough day. We started off, sun was shining, it's pretty nice. We made it up Maroon Pass, summited that. That was a brutal climb. And then on the way down from Maroon Pass, it started downpouring, thundering and lightning. And we had the second um, frigid air pass while it's thundering and lightning. It was sleeting, it was cold, but uh, it's been raining all day, we're wet. And we made it to camp, so that's all that matters. Good morning. It's the morning of day three. We are packing up camp, getting ready to hit the trail. It's about 6 a.m., another cold morning. We got uh, another 12,000 foot summit to hit today. The summit is Trail Rider, and then we're going to stay somewhere around uh, Snowmass Lake. So it's going to be another uh, busy day. Just uh, picking up the hiking or the bear can right now. And then I'm going to get thrived up and I'm going to hit the trail. Camp is broke down. That's all we got left. Left no trace. It always sucks putting on cold, wet, stinky gear in the morning. It's hard to get moving when you're cold. But anyways, we're hitting the trail. So we're walking along. This is really cool. Really pretty. Very cool place. All right, check that out. That's the stream that you just saw us cross. Very pretty stream. Cold water, <laughs> of course. It's just amazing out here. Such an awesome place. Stopped and ate lunch. Took about, what, I don't know, 25, 30 minute break. Feeling pretty good, got some calories. We're about to make our uh, final push up to the summit. It's gonna be a big push. I don't know if you guys can see it out in there. That's the summit. So we're gonna go all the way up, up to the top. So, that is so there's the first real wildlife we've seen. That's a moose. Probably a little closer than I ought to be. I'm probably about 50 yards away. She is not afraid of us at all. So just to give you guys an idea of what we've done over the last two days, we started over there, actually over in there. We summited that yesterday. That's West Maroon Pass. We hiked all the way down and around up that and summited um, summited frigid air pass it's about right there hiked all the way down and then all the way through here 
we kind of came down and around these mountains and then we ate lunch at that lake and now we're coming back up and around and this so we're making our way down to snowmass lake and there's these snow crossings right on the edge of the cliff that are not even remotely safe they go straight down into the water but anyways we're uh we're making our descent down to the lake so here we are we're finally at camp here on day three um we ended up hiking out a lot further than we thought we were going to we were originally going to stay at snowmass lake but there just wasn't any good campsites there for us to hang hammocks so we just pressed on we hiked about another hour maybe a little bit longer and um, we ended up finding this campsite up here and it's kind of towards the end of the tree basin in the wetlands here i think is what they call it but uh all that means is that we got about an hour less of a hike tomorrow on the hike out and the sooner we can get out the better because we got some deadlines to meet cars to return rental car all that kind of stuff so anyways here we are in day three this is our campsite right here that's my hammock you guys know the deal on that i use the uh um, ugq sil poly tarp with the dream hammock and the x-therm sleep pad and kind of you're around here there's tim's setup Tim also uses the Dream Hammock with, with an X-Therm sleep pad, and then he uses the Warbonnet Big Mama Jamba tarp. And for my pack, I am rocking the Superior Wilderness Long Haul 50. I absolutely love that thing. So if you need an awesome pack, get yourself a Superior Or getting ready to hike out. We woke up at 4.30 in the morning to pack up so we can get on the trail early. We got one more summit that is Buckskin Pass. And I think this is the highest one. It's like 12,800 foot. So it's kind of a big one, but we hope to be over the pass by about noon. Right, so we're making our final climb up to uh, Buckskin Pass. We're probably got about another 1,200 foot of elevation or so. But if you look up right there, that's the top of the pass. So that's our final pass of it. Yep, that's good. All right, guys, here we are. Buckskin Pass. It's our fourth pass in three days. We've been on the trail for four days, but three days of doing passes. We're at 12,500 some foot, somewhere around there. I don't know for sure. But uh, I'm not hanging out long up here. The air's really thin. Altitude is the bitch of all bitches. <laughs> so... We're getting off of here. All right, we made it down Buckskin Pass. We're about halfway down on the trail. If you look back there, that's where we were, right up there. So, making it down, heading back to the car. About time to get some real food, because this guy. All right, guys, um, so we're back at the car, and I'm completely exhausted, if you can't tell. But, I want to do a quick overview of this trip. Four Pass Loop, Maroon Bells, Colorado. Amazing trip. Absolutely beautiful place. Once in a lifetime trip. Um, like I said, we did four passes over three days, really. The first night we just camped out. But um, the trails are awesome. There's scenery everywhere. Just an amazing place. If you ever get a chance, come check out the Maroon Bells. It's, uh, it's just really beautiful.